Hello everyone, good morning. It's a Saturday morning. I've actually got quite an exciting delivery. <laughs> come down this last week i think all the excitement of having the house and everything i have just been a little bit of a zombie obviously i was also ill if you watched my last video that took me a little while to recover from that flu cold thing that is going around london is no joke i wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy i decided to stop torturing myself by just like mindlessly endlessly scrolling through furniture websites every second of every day to take a little break i feel very lucky that i can do that and now i'm excited to get back into the swing of things. I feel like a little girl still. You know like when a little girl goes to Disney and they're so excited, they're so happy and then it all ends in tears. I, I don't know why, I just... I don't know. I, I don't know. However, on the topic of sofas, sofas have a very, very long delivery time and I think it was also getting to me that I had nowhere to sit in this house. Like I had nowhere to lie down with her at the end of the day. I've just had to lie in bed if I want somewhere comfy, which obviously is like not a problem. I'm not complaining. But I spent majority of my time sat at my kitchen table and I don't know, I just want somewhere to relax. And I don't want to rush the decision because I want to make sure it's perfect. I've actually changed my decision from what I thought I initially wanted. I want something a little bit more classic and a little bit more different. Maybe I'll show you in this vlog. I've actually just got some furniture swatches or some sofa material swatches from a company that I was looking at. But there's another company that I found that I am obsessed with however i think i've done quite enough rambling i'm sure you're all dying to know what is inside these boxes if you are new to my channel by the way hello hi <laughs> i was a bit sincere waving with the knife my name is flossy i have just bought my first ever london home so many people got so triggered i was calling this a house to me house is home it's the same meaning and it's not a flat is it it's an apartment I guess. Two bedroom, two story apartment in my dream location and I'm very excited about it so I am basing my whole entire life and my whole entire personality off doing this place up. I was also really struggling on the whole gardener front in that I was messaging those, they either just weren't getting back to me or they didn't have like any availability until December or like the new year. And I've also stressed myself out a little bit less than that because I've had a look at it and it's really not that big of a job. It honestly just needs a huge clean up and some tarp. No major landscaping, no major digging things up or scraping tiles up. In the summer next year, when my bank account is looking a little bit more healthy, I probably will do some like more fun landscaping stuff to it but my parents actually had a gardener come into their gallery and he said that he reckons he could do it no problem he's doing like a job in the east at the moment but once he's done with that hopefully i'm going to get him over here and that's just going to be a huge thing off the to-do list and also something really exciting to show you guys sorry i haven't fully i've done these yet that was a bit too dark right time to assemble Whatever this is, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It says to do this with two people, but I will not be listening to that information. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna get all of that from there into here? I debate, now is not the time, huh? Oh my, <laughs> I didn't even get any in. I have come back with a utensil from a milk frother, and this is gonna be my this is going to take so long. Okay, that is, I don't know what I was saying. Like, I'll be here till fucking 2025. Not get me wrong as well. This was not cheap. Since when the fuck would have been bad? Cost me 250 pounds. 250 pounds. 250 pounds for my mental health and also the experience. You know what? There are not a lot of things in this world. I will accept defeat on assembling a bean bag by myself. It's one of them, and it's a very good job. My boyfriend is on a train to London as we speak, so I can quickly evacuate this situation. Just act like I never even tried. I will leave you there. Gonna wipe. Ugh! Over to my toes. Leave that there. Let him have a giggle <laughs> when he goes in. Oh my god. I 
really don't know how I feel about this sofa beanbag situation. I mean, I'm kind of hoping the longer, like, I sit on it, it will soften up a bit. Because, oh my god, it is really hard. Do you want to see the bean situation I've been left with as well? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I bloody hope this is hooverable. Moment of truth. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I don't even want to talk about how long this took. Turns out those little balls did actually block up the hoover. Ida's about to be taken on a walk. <laughs> She's very excited. The little balls blocked up the hoover, so I had to like dustpan and brush them into little piles, shovel them up. I don't even want to touch one of these boxes because if I even glance their way, millions of polystyrene balls just come flying out of nowhere. I also wanted to show you that these are a few... <laughs> Someone's a fan of it. These sofa samples I got. I've actually since found a different sofa website I'm gonna be using. And look, like how the fuck do they even get up there? And I'm gonna pick a kind of crazy sofa. I mean, it's really not crazy, but I want a patterned material. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Like I might do a little debrief. I also wanna go out and get a television tomorrow. Some towels, like some glasses, maybe just some more general homeware stuff. It's gonna be quite like a homeware vlog because I know that was really lacking in my last one. But yeah, I'm super excited for the sofa to come, but this is our temporary. It's, I mean, it does something. It gets me excited because it gives me like, like the vibes of a real sofa being in here, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not that comfy. Another home update I have for you, so exciting, is that I moved my big mirror that was in my bedroom into this room because I need it in here more than I need it in my bedroom right now. I do want to move it back, but I currently got my old big black mirror still in my flat in case the girl who's selling my clothes needs to use it for photographs. Oh, hot burn. I can't wait to start dressing nice and actually looking nice in these vlogs again. I feel like I'm either in pajamas, a dressing gown, or the same leggings and jumper that I've been having in rotation for the last three weeks. Even like going to have a bath or something feels like such a treat at the moment. I just feel so out of whack of my routine. And especially with the move and everything, I feel like my appearance is really taking a toll because been a little bit stressed. I hate using that word because I'm always like, stress is such a bad thing. There's such worse things to stress about, but I've been a little bit stressed, especially if you're a PCOS girl as well. You'll sort of understand that stress is so bad and will like affect things so terribly. And something stress always comes out in is my skin. And I actually really think my skin is in a great condition. I mean, I've got so many marks um, and sort of scarring along my skin, but I really don't have any active breakouts i did have a big sort of flare up when i first moved but it calmed down really quickly and i have to give it to you know what's coming skin and me if you're going to buy one thing i ever talk to you about please make it this i genuinely will be a paying customer of skin and me until the day i die so many people walk past my windows i'm sat here in my pajamas oh my god oh my god it's like a ton of road man Oh my god, there's more. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's like 20. That was... Okay. But I feel like teary-eyed. That was so awkward. I'm gonna try and find a picture of my skin before I started my Skin and Me journey. I've actually just about to come to the end of my second month and go on to my third month. I'll insert that picture here if... I have one. I'll try my absolute best to try and find one. And then here is my skin now. As I said, I've got a lot of marks, but also I feel like because my complexion is so pale at the moment, they always really show up. As soon as I get a tan, my skin is always great. Like the marks all go. But anyway, we're not talking about that. This right here, it's called a daily doser. It's specifically customized to me. As you can see, it's got my name on here. And this is done by going onto the Skin and Me website. You fill out a questionnaire form. You also send in like before pictures of your skin. I find this 
really helpful because skincare is definitely a journey. I think you really start seeing results within a month. I've said this before in a previous video. I've got the sort of skin where I can see if something's working for me in a couple of weeks. Skin of me isn't just for acne prone skin. It can also be for really dry skin, aging skin, just whatever your skin concerns are. You'll fill all of that out in the questionnaire. It's really, really thorough. I think the reason this product is so effective is because it has ingredients that aren't available on the high street and skin and me have a team of dermatologists who work towards treating even really chronic skin conditions so you know that the ingredients oh god you know that the ingredients you get in this are top 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 tier and they come at such an affordable price point you can use my code on here to get your first daily dose out for just 4.99 are you kidding me i don't even want to think about the amount of money I have spent on skincare through the years. This and some moisturizer after using a cleanser is genuinely the only thing I use these days. And I'm so happy with the results. It's so easy. The Daily Doser even twists like, oh my God, what is wrong with me? The Daily Doser twists, it clicks, and it comes out of a little pump here. So you've got the perfect amount. If your Daily Doser isn't working for you, you feel like it's too harsh, you feel like it's not doing anything, you feel like you need to change something, you can check back in with the dermatology team and they will give you a new Daily Doser which is more suited to you. Also, because our skin does change over time, I think that's a really great service. I think I'll probably go in and get something a little bit more hydrating for the winter now. As I said, you can use my discount code, which I'll have on screen again here. It will also be in the description box along with a link. I promise you this is really changed the game for me it changed my confidence so much and i could not recommend this to you enough i recommend this to friends family everyone you get the gist even my managers my managers have bought this and said it's amazing anyway thank you to skin and me for sponsoring this part of the video and let's get on with the rest of it I'm very well rested you know i had a excellent excellent sleep last night although i feel like it doesn't look like it i just always look tired anyway this morning tuna toast is a go and i thought i'd have a little chat to you about my sofa plan what i want you know because i alluded to the fact that we have something a little crazy a little bit of blue going on let me do my tuna first i really like the whole old french i don't know i'm probably getting this all wrong i don't have a degree in interior design i'm afraid i like maximalism i think is the word i like a lot of things and a lot of stuff and like a lot of textures and I like things looking quite regal <laughs> oh. i don't know why to me it just seems really girly and i honestly think it stems from wanting a princess bedroom as a child and i don't really feel like i've ever grown out of that i want a princess bedroom i want a princess house originally i thought i wanted a big corner sofa pressed up against my window i thought it'd be really nice to sort of lie along that watch people go about their day look out at night especially when it's christmas and there are like christmas lights around however thank the lord i didn't go ahead with that because it came to me that doing that would actually obstruct the shutters on the windows like i wouldn't be able to open them because the sofa would come up higher i also really love symmetry in a room i'm a symmetry kind of gal i don't know if you remember but when i moved in i was like oh because the uh, wardrobes either side of my bed are uneven one's like smaller than the other and it was sending me sideways and my mum was right i don't even think about it anymore oh a bit of metal in my tuna and my living room is so beautifully symmetrical i was quite sad that i was going to be losing that so now i've had the idea to have a big long huge sofa along the back two little side tables either side it also means i can keep my big overhanging lamp which i just love like the light that that gives is so nice i'm gonna have a rug in the middle a coffee table so we've got sofa rug coffee table and then two matching armchairs. I'm gonna insert on screen here the sofa that I want. I've actually got loads of fabric swatches coming. I know it's quite hard to see the shape of it with that material, but I am a huge fan of that material, that print. I think it's so gorgeous, it's so fun, but it's gonna take up to 10 weeks to be made, hence why we've got the temporary bean bag. When I first saw that 10 week wait time, I was like, oh, no way. But I could be in this place for 10 years and I wanna have a sofa and a space that I really, really love and really enjoy. I've always had plain sofas. I just feel like now's the time to go for a pattern. I've ordered loads of different colors of that pattern. And then I've also ordered loads of fabric samples of like the pinstripes, the fine little stripes, because they also look gorgeous. I'm lucky in that room as well, because it's a fair balance of cool toned and warm toned. 
those. I'll line all the swatches up on the wall like I did with those last ones that are still in there. And we can make a decision together. Although I probably will have made a decision by the time you watch this, but how exciting. Anyway, plans for today. And honestly, just to go out, have a little stroll around again, be a bit more productive than last time. Because if you watched last week's vlog, I was so unwell. I was probably very miserable and not nice to be around and I just didn't get anything done or anything bought that I needed to get bought. I still need towels, I need a few more glasses. I wanted to go and buy a TV today but I don't know how I would transport a TV home. I don't even know if you can just walk away with a TV or whether it's something you have to order in person. Anyway, I'm gonna finish cooking this. I'll catch up with you. Also, if you're into like home, reno, moving vlogs, I feel like everyone is moving right now. Emily Cannon is doing up her house so beautifully. I'm literally obsessed. I'm also loving watching Rachel Leary's vlogs. It feels like the whole of the internet has moved house. It's a good one today, girls. Oh no, I didn't think you'd be able to see all the mess. I've actually got a huge box of things down here. I did a huge like H&M weekday order. Who knew that H&M weekday were owned by the same people? I think I need to start shopping on H&M more. Never thought I'd be a H&M girl, but here we are. So I've got tights on, these Prada loafers, which I wear all the time. My best designer purchase I've ever made. This really old skirt from Urban Outfitters. This top is one of my favorite tops in the world. It's from Nippy. And then I've got this big brown coat, which I got from a vintage shop. And I love it. And I wear it so much. In fact, I think it might have even been a charity shop. I'm gonna have to film anything I film out and about today on my phone. But to be honest, I think a lot of this video is just gonna be like hauls at home, etc. There's not too much I can show you out and about. I don't even think I'm gonna wear a bag with this. I'd usually be so offended by black and brown, but... I don't think it's, I don't think it's too obvious. And quickly, my perfume I'm gonna wear is Fame. This is, yeah, Fame by Paco Rabanne. I put so much perfume on as well, and I put it all through my hair, because it's the only way it will last. I wasn't like overly obsessed with this scent when, I trapped my finger on one of these yesterday. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. When I first got this, I thought it was really sweet, but the more it wears on you, it's actually a bit more of like a masculine, sexy smell. I don't know, I think it's a really nice for this time of year, especially if you do still like feminine fragrances. It's like a sexy perfume, you know? It's it's a good one, I'd recommend it. Good lasting power too. I love this light here. I really wanna get a light in my bedroom because I've only got spotlights in there at the moment. Now I'm in my elderly age era when I get excited about little Italian delis. Buying some nice big pasta and pistachio pasto sauce. Delicious, I cannot wait to eat this. I've got a huge pajama obsession at the moment. And these ones, oh, into a woman's face. These ones with the fluff on them. Oh my goodness. I just went into the shop and they literally have the most beautiful stuff in here, like all really classic, but then some really fun and sweet things as well. And they've also just spotted this lamp. I love huge lamps on bedside tables. It's pretty fast, but they make their kabule for Ottolenghi with giant couscous and it makes such a difference. I have just had the most unbelievable nap of my life. I've made like a little temporary bed, sofa situation, lay all my blankets and my duvet down with all my cushions and my pillows. But I did a bit of shopping whilst I was out in town today and then I also placed a huge H&M weekday order as I mentioned earlier and I am gonna show you what I got. Apparently we are together. First things first, I got these gorgeous pajamas. I'm on such a pajama hype at the moment. These are huge. They're stripy blue ones. They're so comfortable. They're a nice like thin sort of cotton material. They're so comfy to sleep in. This is the shirt. I think I got these in a size, yeah, medium. They are huge. They're super oversized. So I would say you could stick to your normal size, but if you want them ginormous, go size up. The dressing gown, I'm not sure if I filmed in this. Oh yeah, I definitely did this morning because I got egg all over it. <laughs> Yeah, all the yellow. I don't know if you can see that. I got this gorgeous dressing gown, also from H&M. It's got this really nice black trim, and this, let me tell you, feels like a hotel robe. The material of it, it's so soft, but it's also toweling. Perfect post bath dressing gown. These sort of dressing gowns, like the fluffy ones. This is a Soho home dressing gown. They're so nice and so comfy, but they're not the best for after a bath. She's just taking a bit of cardboard. Cheeky sausage. Can't escape, mummy. You can't escape mummy. You can't escape mummy. <laughs> 
I feel really awkward like holding underwear up to you but we all wear it there's nothing weird about it bought this underwear like on a whim just before i went to marbella i will actually never wear another pant again in my life it is the comfiest underwear it doesn't dig in to like any hips it's actually stretchy the cotton is so soft it comes up the perfect height like it doesn't fucking i don't want to get too graphic with this best underwear ever like ever 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 i also got just a big pair of black socks something interesting and then also big pair of white socks i bought this <laughs> there's another pair of pants and another pair of pants i bought this 90 because right i need it tailored but i would wear that as a dress am i sick and twisted for doing that i kind of thought it was going to be a slightly different material it's like a stretchy kind of silky well, it's not stretchy but it's just not not shiny silk but it's kind of a silky material i thought just with like a huge big bomber over some boots like a very classic me outfit or maybe even with a corset over the top and then the strap sort of like pulling off my shoulder i got this in an extra small and i think i should have got a small because this bit is like so tight on my boobs it sort of squashes them down and it's not really the sort of dress i want to wear a bra with or even just a huge jumper over it and then this sort of coming out as a skirt i just thought it could be versatile i don't know how much wear i'm gonna get out of it i want to have a space in my dressing room now as like a new in space so anything new i buy i have it there and i know to make use out of it and wear it and if i don't i can go and return it because i don't think i've returned a piece of clothing in years which is dreadful and also explains why i'll be selling so much on my vintage coming very soon stay updated for that i then got just like a plain black bra which i definitely got this in the wrong back size i got just a, such a wide here you know and when i was little that used to make me really insecure that used to make me really insecure that i'd order like a 34 or even sometimes a 36 in some places because all the girls were ordering like fucking 30 32 it's your bones my bones are huge okay i don't wear that sick and twisted little insecurity came from but hey look i'm telling the internet i'm a 34 or 36 Okay. Ooh, I haven't even opened these yet. This is so exciting. Another thing as well I did get, but I feel like there's no use me just showing you. I'm going to show you them on. I got this weekday pair of low-waisted jeans, and I ordered them like five sizes too big. I really want to get into tailoring as well, because I love the leg bagginess on me, but I need them to be tighter on the hips, because, oh my gosh, they fall down so bad. I have to like tie them at the back with a little ribbon or a bow, and it just doesn't look good. There's a tailor up the road from me now, so that might be worth a visit. Maybe we'll do it this week, who knows? But I love them. They're really fun, and usually, like, because I like my jeans to sit there anyway i buy normal high-waisted jeans and the crotch is really low which i like sometimes but sometimes i do just want them to look like they fit a bit better i got these linen white pajamas from h&m oh my god i just love them i bought a pair from the white company and white company pajamas are so extortionate and honestly these are so similar how much were these okay it's not gonna sell me i got these ones in a size small they look like they'll fit me a little bit better but look at that this sweet little collar oh my gosh i love it, i love it, I love it. now moving on to stuff i actually bought whilst i was out and about today this shop this freaking pagan shop rocked my world and knocked my socks off and all the above once again i got so much nice stuff from here i got these sunglasses which i love they're from a kajard a So fun, so cool, and I always look really bad when I take Ida out, so this is gonna help the situation. So I seem to have just like misplaced all my sunglasses. I can't tell if I did it during the move or elsewhere, but yeah, I literally cannot find any. Love these, so fun. I don't think they were too expensive as well. I think they were like 50 quid. I then got this. Oh my god! These are, oh my god, okay. I've gotta get the other one out now as well. I'm gonna go through prices of this stuff as well. It wasn't like a dirt cheap shop, but places like this aren't. And everything just seems so nice and such nice quality. So if you like 
my homeware stuff, maybe this will help you and save people going in the comments. It's a fucking mess, because I've already told you, okay? These mugs were 20 pounds each. I got these two mugs, which say, I love you, I know. I love that! And they're bloody huge. I could put some soup in here. When my mum comes over, my mum is actually coming on Tuesday, I can give her a hot beverage in a I love you mug, you know? That's so nice. Whilst I try and rip this tape off, toilet training, Call me the fucking dog whisperer. I take her out and the second she touches that floor, she runs over to the same little spot. She does a wee in every time. Wheeze or poos, back inside. Not one accident. To be honest, I found in my experience with her, a dachshund decides when they're gonna start doing what they're supposed to be doing. She just woke up one day and was like, do you know what, mum? Look, I know, I know this is what I should be doing. And she's just doing it. She gets a treat every single time, but she got a treat every single time before anyway. I am so proud of her and so happy and it feels like it's just come in perfect timing because my main concern when I was getting everything in here I don't want a wee on the carpets I don't want it no one does I don't want a wee on the beanbag I don't want a wee on my new sofa she has been a little star I am just so proud of her anyway I then got this big bowl i don't know if well you probably you will have seen in my vlogs i am a salad enthusiast and once my furniture is in more i really want to be like a big dinner host lunch host breakfast host etc when the girls wake up hungover i want to be up in the kitchen like scrambling eggs i don't i love doing that like i always have and the location i'm living in now as well i'm so much closer to like a lot of my friends so i can do that sort of stuff i used to be so out of the way to like where anyone lived so this is just the perfect salad bowl and i love it so much i think it's so beautiful and simple this will look lovely with lots of fresh grains and colors and vegetables in it and i just can't can't wait. This shop as well has a online store if any of you are interested but I would really recommend going in because I don't know it's just fun and I also think going into homeware shops like seeing everything together it makes you buy more. Oh this bowl was £40 which I really don't think is bad at all you'd pay the savings are at home. My other few things from this shop these are the expensive bowls but to be honest I think they're worth it. I would have paid it anyway. I got these stunning little scalloped bowls. So sweet. So I can have my big salad in here and then serve it up in here. These were £50 each and I think they're so beautiful. I think... Oh my god, they're Japanese. It's in my blood. It's not in my blood, but I went there once so I've convinced myself it is. They're gorgeous. I love them. So sweet. Even a serving bowl, some crisps nuts anything you name it as i said i got two of those Woo! oh my god just seeing everything together it was so happy and then i got this lovely candle which was 40 pounds but it's blood and i and investing in a nice candle especially when you've invested in a whole house Actually, probably isn't the wisest idea because I do not have forty pounds to be spending on fucking candles. But it smells like wild fig, and fig smells always remind me of my mum. It's got that sort of leaf smell to it. Like it smells like the leaf. If you like, it's very niche. But if you like Dalesford Vine Tomato, like Tomato Vine Reed Diffuser, the scent that they have, you will really like this. And it's one of those wood wick candles that will make that gorgeous like sound as I burn it. To be honest I don't feel bad because now that I don't go crazy on the town, I would spend £40 on a cocktail without batting an eyelid. This is going to give me good fortune, good smells, good mental health, good ASMR. Yeah, yeah. Then as you saw I went into that little Italian deli and I got this big pasta. Which this was just an impulse buy. I don't really know why I'm this. But it is very sweet. And this fucking like £10 pesto. Which better blow my socks off. This is a pistachio pesto. Why am I saying that? Like oh, the holy grail of a Sunday night. I've got my big jammers on. The one that I showed you. I've ordered pizza. And I can't even remember. Oh my rice. I can smell the squid. I've got some calamari. Mmm. Still got a little crisp to it. Disappointing garlic sauce. I wanted some fresh aioli. Got a margarita pizza and some pistachio pesto pasta. The pesto smells so good. Oh my god. 
play about so well. What is the name of this place? This place is called Pesantissimo. P E S A N T I S S I M O. You live wherever this delivers. Oh my gosh. Got to try the pizza. The pizza's come a little cold, but you know what? I sometimes prefer my pizza room temp slash cold. Pizza, like when you've left it out on the side and it's kind of congealed and you're hungover. Oh my god. Mmm. Do you know what? They've gone generous with the cheese, which I feel like places don't normally do. I want a higher cheese to tomato ratio, you know? I'm also watching this show on Netflix at the moment, which if you're like me and you have the attention span of a gnat and you need something really gripping, scary, kind of like a thriller. This series called The Fall of the House of Usher is so good. I mean, I'm only on episode two but I'm really enjoying it. I did fall asleep during episode one, but I've done the little catch up. I'm gonna have a lovely evening, babes. See you tomorrow. Hello, everybody. It's the next day, kind of the end of the day. I haven't had much to report on today. I've ordered a few more things from Amazon. I feel like all my deliveries should be coming soon. I'll do a big haul of that when everything comes. I thought my sofa swatches would turn up today, but they're not. However, I do have a gardener coming tomorrow to take a look at the garden. So I've been like sending him loads of pictures. I'm also trying to sort out my bills currently and still like switching over accounts, meter reading from my old place get my old place all set up it's i've had a bit of a stressful day to be honest and i've got really bad acid reflux but it's fine i did go and do an m s food shop and i don't know if you guys like watching what i get but i enjoy showing it to you so i'm going to show you everything i did get i actually went into town to see my friend josh today and it was honestly really nice as i said i felt really like overwhelmed and stressed and do you want to know one thing i feel so lucky that i do have like a flexible job because my whole day dedicated to that if i had to go into an office and work a nine to five like most people do i had uni i can't even imagine the stress of it i almost feel guilty this is me going off on a whole different tangent but i always feel guilty being like oh i'm stressed because you know i am able to like sort it out in my day whereas i know i I got some salmon, I got some tomatoes, some more salmon. I actually usually freeze these. They're really good because they're individually bagged, so I can just like whoop them out. I got some giant couscous because this is my favorite grain at the moment. I'm a big grains girl, I love it. I got some feta cucumber. I want to recreate that otolenghi tabbouleh. Oh, didn't get pomegranate seeds. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got loads of avocados, some ripen at home ones, and then just some ones to keep in the fridge. I just get through these so quickly. I then also got some halloumi, some pearl barley, because I love this when I have it, but I never cook with it, so I thought I'd get some of that. And then also some beetroot, because I want to put some beetroot in the tabbouleh, which I know is not really classic tabbouleh, but... Hey ho. I'm honestly just gonna finish this day off here because I don't have a ton else to show you. Hopefully I will tomorrow. I'll have some updates with the garden. I'll have my sofa swatches in. My mom is actually also going tomorrow. She's gonna take Ida for a week just because I have some plans this weekend. I'm not gonna be staying at mine. So obviously I can't have her here. And it's the first time we're gonna be apart in a very, very long time. And I don't know how I'm gonna cope. Honestly, especially as the toilet training is going so swimmingly. I hate the fact that she's going, but it will all be okay. It means I can go back and forth between here and my old flat, like get everything sorted that I need to get sorted as well a few days before the weekend. But you love staying with your grandma and grandpa as well. So we know that you're going to be just fine. She actually saw, well, we saw a lady in the park today who looked just like my mum. Like, just like my mum, just like my mum, had my mum's hair and everything. And Ida went bounding towards her. She's actually really shy with people. Like, she, I don't know, she doesn't really care to, like, interact with people. She can get a bit scared. But she went bounding over to this woman and then obviously realised it wasn't my mum. But you're going to be seeing grandma tomorrow. Anyway, catch you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm so pale. I look like... I'm about to drop dead. I actually just had the gardener that I'm gonna be using come and visit me today. He looked around the garden. We sort of spoke about what I wanted to do, like some planting, where I want the turfing, etc., to go, the fencing, everything. He should hopefully have availability in like two to three weeks once he's finished this other job he's doing. And he said that he can get it done in a couple of days. I tell me why I thought this was gonna be weeks, but how amazing! Because it means I can get a video out for you really, really soon in the next few weeks of my big garden transformation. I also think I'm gonna be doing some extra work to the garden next 
summer just because I don't know I feel like it'll be a bit easier for everything to grow dry I I don't know I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about I definitely don't I also took Ida on a walk first thing this morning and came back to my new sofa swatches so we're gonna unbox them together oh my god it took every ounce of strength in me to not just rip these open i feel like these colors just aren't translating like that swatch there looks white but it's not the colors just aren't really coming through on camera too well like it looks like it's got a really pinky background it definitely is a little bit more pinky toned but it's not white or pink that's for sure i honestly can't decide i think my favorite is still the red but i do worry because i'm getting such a large sofa like the sofa is literally going to be coming from here all the way across to where this door opens so here all the way over to there is it just gonna look too fussy with that red print i'm gonna leave these up but then also i love the stripes oh i really 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 like this green stripe i kind of wish they had a green one of these because this is just i don't know it kind of matches the wall color i also need to think about it with the carpets maybe i'll lay it down with the carpet as well but to be honest i'm not crazy about this carpet it's got loads of like really faint marks on it it's not anything i need to do urgently fucking hell i am honestly finding these little balls everywhere i've never hoovered so much in my life they come back to curse me how on earth does it even stick to that have a look at them from back here i do really like the stripe you know but i do also just think the red is so striking and I think it could be my winner. Oh my god, I just don't know. I'm also hoping with a pattern so far, it's not gonna look dirty ever. Do you know what? Now I'm looking at it, I really do like the beigey one. I didn't think I'd like that, but I do. I feel like these are the two stripes. They're just a little bit too warm for the room, maybe even. This one's not terrible. This one, I think we can take out of the equation. It's just a little bit too cream. I really don't know. I'm gonna ask my mum's opinion. But then my mum is the sort of mum where she like gets it in her head and she's like, if you don't pick this one, you're making the worst decision of your life so oh my god i just can't decide i want them all then i also think over time i'm probably going to want matching armchairs or like an armchair along the same colorway let me know what you guys think down in the comments maybe do you know what? i don't want to hold off any longer because it's already going to take so long to come let me know what you think okay grandma's here <laughs> <laughs> Ida is very excited. <laughs> Ida's actually going to be going home with, I can't remember if I've said this, but she's going to be staying with my mum and dad this weekend just because I've got a few plans. But I've been very kindly brought a gift. It's, it's, it's nothing, nothing. Yeah, but you always, I love anything. I never expect anything. What a treat. Especially as I have no money anymore to buy myself nice things, but I'll still be able to spend £50 and I love you, mum. <laughs> So. Little Miss Flossie. Do you remember that username? I know. Yeah. I know. If you guys are here on the OG days, do you remember what my handles were Little Miss Flossie? Mm -hmm. To Flossie, wishing you absolutely every happiness in your beautiful new home. We're so very proud of you. With lots of love, mm -hmm. Mummy and Daddy. Thank you. It's got to go with all my other cards. I don't ever want to take those cards down. Oh, those moving cards. I've got them there forever. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Ian's going to be very excited about this. Oh my god, look. Does it take a genius to know? If you watch my vlogs, follow me on Instagram. My favourite place in the world, Ottolenghi. We actually have so many Ottolenghi books at home, don't we? We've got two or three, but we haven't got that one. And I want that one. And, and also, so like, the Ottolenghi recipes, I absolutely adore them. But my god, they take a long time. There's a lot of chopping. This one is supposed to be super cool. Amazing. Fabulous thing. Yeah, because I bought, I have another one. And I was like, yes. oh, it's a week long aubergine prep. Yeah, like, I suspect. It does rituals. Oh my gosh, I'm from calendar. Oh, that's so beautiful. It's like a 3D one, oh, I think. Oh, thank it's still a bit you. pretty. Thank you. Oh, so right. good. Mm -hmm. On to other exciting affairs. What do you think? The sofa okay, swatches. What colour would I go for? Yeah. 
definitely like the cinnamony colour. Sort of rust. Oh colour. gosh. Which one do you like? Oh Slum. wait, one of them's fallen down. Oh, that's nice. I think this one's the safest bet. Yeah. But I also, I love the sage as well. You know what I think, right, the red one, because the background colour is so white, that is going to show up every bit of, when I say grime, you know where you put your hands and there's all like, if somebody, um, you know, just kind of wear and tear marks. Whereas yeah. those, the background colour on the sort of linen colour and the cinnamon colour, that's more mid-tone, so it's not going to show up dirt from people's hands yeah. on the... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Fright of my life last night. I was just having a really weird, like, anxious night anyway. I think it's because I had a coffee that was caffeinated yeah. and I don't drink caffeine Maybe anymore. Mm -hmm. Try and get myself in a nice zen mode. I like my candles, my nice new candles, and blow them out. The smoke alarm starts going off. Mm -hmm. And obviously I'm not thinking, because that is the smoke alarm. There. Yeah. It's there. I'm not thinking it's candles, because I've, like, just blown a can candle out. I've turned my radiators on for the first night yeah. ever. And I'm like, I was like running around screaming, I was literally shaking. All well, night we'll try to have a You're zen okay. evening. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, so what do we think? Because I'm going to order today. Are you? Yeah, okay. well, I right. need to. It's hard, isn't it? Because I'm also you know thinking. What? I think this one, you can judge it up with any colour you choose to over the years. Yeah, like someone said any that. Colour. So if you want to change your colour scheme in here to, uh, you know, sort of pale blues or rusts or to reds or to greens, that's going to look at <laughs> to anything. Whereas that one is, is going to be slightly more limiting. Yeah. But you can get, you know, gorgeous cushions to judge that up. That one is going to be... What do you think about the stripes? Oh no. I'm not a fan of stripes. Because I put it on my close friends. <laughs> that is such a you. I feel like I get my vocabulary from you. you know? I this, love you. This little son, baby. I love you. I do. I've missed you. Because you know, I'm also thinking this you colour. Sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Granddad's going to be very excited to see you. But also, I don't. I just really don't love the the colour of the carpet. Yeah. It's too grey. But I will change it over time. Just get a rug. It's exactly that. But also too, that was my other thing. I thought, because I want like one of those big... <laughs> Look at her. How are we supposed to focus on anything? And you're here. You're beautiful. These lovely brown eyes. Thank you. I've missed you. Um, yeah. Because I wanted a like... You know those rugs we have at home, like one of those big sort of red rugs, but a bit more of an aged one. And with that red, it would just clash because it's it'd be impossible. It's like a very cherry pinky red. Whereas with this, it could potentially work like a deep colour. I just think sort of you know with your like really long term furnishings, mm. go neutral and then you can change all the accessories. And everything. I just worry that I'm gonna like regret not getting the red. Which, so which is your favourite favourite? My favourite on the sofa is the red, but that it one, yeah, the right but hand one. yeah, but it's not my favourite for the space, and I need to think about the space. What do you want, baby? Just, just as long as it tastes nice. I, don't I think, think this is probably my Amazon delivery. I think it is, honey. Oh. <laughs> Don't mean to get it. I was filming it. Guys, I just unpackaged a big Amazon parcel and I want to show you these glasses because I got these in a set of four. They were so, so affordable. I will link them down in the description box if I can. From Amazon and they come with little glass straws as well. I didn't even realize they came with a glass straw each. How great. But iced coffees, matches, like even a cocktail or just like a long drink. So, so nice. And they feel really sturdy usually i really like thin glass but i feel like in a way these are a little bit more robust and also sometimes it's nice to hold a weighty glass and then also this is so tiktok shop of me some pastel iphone chargers so fun and i'm so lucky as well most of the plugs around here are just usb plugins and these are super long as well like there are usb plugins next to my bed so useful and so cute let's just hope they don't break on me hey you have lots of fun. <laughs> You're going on a walk, don't you? Have lots of fun. Behave. Do your peas and poos outside. Do mummy proud. I love you. We'll miss you. We'll see you very soon, little beanie. Are you okay? Is that a little smile?
you're giving us this lovely evening one. I've been sat in bed editing this vlog, ready to get it up for you guys, and I realised I didn't do an outro. A few days have gone past and i didn't film anything just because i feel like i'll talk about it maybe more in my next video but like sometimes i just wish that certain life processes and experiences that i go through that i was doing it with someone i'm not finishing this video on a bad note but i also feel bad making it seem like buying a house is as difficult as deciding sofa swatches because it's not it can be emotionally quite exhausting sometimes and very like imposter syndrome -y. i keep catching myself in situations even um where i can feel like i'm getting taken advantage of because like i'm young i'm doing it on my own i don't know all the time exactly what i'm doing but yeah i don't know just felt like i need to just get that off my chest i want to say a huge thank you for watching this video honestly like all the love on these vlogs if you've made it to the end of this wow congratulations and leave a comment down below all the love on these videos has just been so amazing um i feel really happy like i do feel really happy but it's just stressful isn't it like it just it inevitably is even like moving into a new place you're renting comes with its stresses don't forget to check out skin and me i will have all that information in the description box as i said make sure to go over and follow me on instagram and tiktok i always have like little sneak peeks updates there i feel like you see everything really real time and i'm also going to be selling a ton of my clothes soon so make sure you go over and follow me there if you want to get some cheap clothes as well as furniture if you're living in london and you want some cheap secondhand furniture make sure to go follow me because i'm going to be selling loads of my stuff on there bye say bye bye very cute very very cute did you know <laughs>